Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. So I made a cherry color pencil drawing tutorial before, and some of you mentioned you would like to see the same cherry done in watercolor. So I'm gonna show you how I paint this cherry in watercolor, and I'll talk about the techniques I use and walk you through step by step how I complete this painting. Now, if you're ready, grab your pens and paper, and let's start painting. As always, I start with my sketch. I drew out the basic shape and mark out the bright areas so I know where to avoid for little coloring. Then I outlined it with light watercolor and erased the pencil sketch afterward so I know there's no pencil sketches on my finished painting. Then I put the base layer on. I try to keep the base layer lighter so we can work on details and layers later. After that, I add darker shades around the shadow areas while the paper is still wet, so the color blends out nicely. For the lower right corner of cherry, I use the dry brush techniques to create the texture. Then I add the even darker shades around the shadow areas again to strengthen the color. Try to avoid the refraction areas as you can see here. Then I mix up an orange-red tone color to add around the left lower corner on the cherry and connect it with the darker shades around the top areas so it looks more natural. For the right lower corner, I add a darker red tone color and connect it with the orange-red color while the paper is still wet so the colors blend through each other. After that, I mix up a purple shade color for the shadow areas and add it around the right side of the cherry. Then I strengthen the color around the lower left corner and the shadow areas around the top. Same as before, try to avoid the reflection areas while coloring. Next, I use the shell pink color to add highlights around the edge on the left side of the cherry so it pops out more. After that, I strengthen the shadow again so it looks more 3D. For the stalk, I put a base layer on and add darker shades around the edge while the paper is still wet, so it creates a natural blending color. Then I paint out the darker contour on the end of the stalk and I add the base layer on and add the darker shades on the shadow areas. After that, I add darker details on the stalk and strengthen the shadow color again where the stalk and cherry connect.
Next, I use the white watercolor pencil to add highlights on the cherry, as you can see here. After that, I smooth it out with another layer of watercolor so it looks more natural. Lastly, I add shadows around the button areas. So the painting is done here. If you haven't seen the cherry color pencil tutorial, I will put the link in the description box below. Check it out if you're interested. That's it for today's video. I really hope it's helpful and you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.